Hi folks, Brian here one more time from WCC. Here to talk about sizing and selecting commercial water softeners. To many folks, these systems may seem a little bit like voodoo. And having a knowledge of this industry, I can tell you that that's been by design. Well today, I'd like to help you cut through some of the smoke and mirrors. Sizing a commercial softener starts with examining two key variables, peak system flow rates and required softening capacity. Calculating the peak flow rate in gallons per minute normally of a building involves calculating total softened water fixture counts for the facility and using a special chart called Hunter's Curve to identify a corresponding peak or worst case flow requirement. Note that these charts almost always tend to oversize flow requirements. So if you have another means of identifying peak flow rate, such as data from an existing booster pump, it's always better to use that. Once you have your peak GPM calculated, go to a manufacturer's spec sheets and identify a system that's large enough to supply this flow rate at an acceptable pressure loss. Because Hunter's Curve oversizes so badly, the industry normally sizes for peak flow at a 25 pound pressure loss. That may seem like a lot. If it's too uncomfortable, consider dropping to a maximum 15 PSI loss. But be careful about sizing for less than a 15 PSI loss, or you'll run the risk of oversizing your equipment. Now it's time to see if you have enough capacity in your system. And by capacity, I mean, do you have enough ion exchange media in the softener tank or tanks to remove all of the hardness minerals passing through? And ideally, we want enough capacity to soften for four, five, or six days between regenerations with the salt water from the brine tank. Calculating capacity requirements means estimating gallons per day of soft water usage, and then multiplying by the grains per gallon of hardness in the water at that specific site, and then multiplying that by four, five, or six days. For example, 3,000 gallons of soft water usage per day times 15 grains per gallon of hardness times five days would be a required capacity of at least 225,000 grains. Go back to the manufacturer's spec sheets, find a system that both meets your peak flow rate requirements and gives you the minimum capacity needed. By the way, one cubic foot of softener resin will efficiently remove about 30,000 grains of hardness between regenerations. You're 90% of the way there. Now you need to look at any minimum flow requirements for the softener you selected. The manufacturer should be able to help you calculate this, but it can be approximated in gallons per minute by taking the resin tank diameter in inches, squaring it, and multiplying by a factor of 0 0.005454. In general, commercial softener tanks usually have a minimum flow rate requirement of between two and 12 gallons per minute. Dropping below these flow rates for prolonged periods can lead to poor performance due to media channeling. To avoid this, if the minimum flows on a single tank look too high, consider a twin, triplex, or even a quad system. The softener controls will bring individual tanks online and offline dependent on system flow and thereby avoid the channeling issue. Multiple tank systems also have the benefit of providing redundancy. If one tank goes down for service or regeneration, others can continue operating. To finish, consider system options such as skid mounted packages in which the equipment is affixed to a steel support skid and pre-plumbed and pre-wired for ease of installation. Also, I'd recommend brine reclamation on any larger softening packages. This option will recycle a portion of the salt that's used in each regeneration and reduce overall salt usage by about a third. This can have great financial payback and it's better for the environment. To get started on your commercial softening application, please contact WCC today. We can help you through all of these calculations in addition to providing cut sheets, Revit families, Division 22 specifications, and budgetary estimates. <laughs>